Hi, my name is Armando Garcia. I am from the University of Texas at El Paso, the logo down here. And uh, I've been working with a few colleagues of mine from UTEP. We would have been at Berkeley, but of course we're doing the virtual um, thing this, this year. Uh, we've been working with Yuhang Tang and Bert Dejong from Berkeley. And uh, for the last 10 weeks, we've had a fantastic time working with them. We've been looking at zirconium crystals um, theoretically wanting to calculate their force constants and uh, let me read oh, the title of my poster is phonon thermodynamics from molecular dynamics via marginalized graph kernels so the reason that we're looking at zirconium crystals is because they are unstable at zero Kelvin and usually when these force constants are being calculated they we use a harmonic approximation which is the which is up here is just a Taylor expansion but in multiple dimensions and then we take because uh, we take one of these terms to be the value of a force constants this calculation however is done at what would be zero Kelvin at an idealized you know non vibrating position and zirconium is not stable at zero Kelvin um, this particular form of zirconium occurs at high temperatures but that's a another detail and because it's unstable at zero Kelvin um, this is an unreliable method so there was a, there's been another group that has calculated these by doing a whole lot of molecular dynamics simulations two femtosecond time steps in order to um, get well solve these force constants from a system of equations and we're doing a similar thing uh, with the graphs over here but we're doing it um, for we're not aggregating them all together. But what we want to do is we want to be able to m reduce the number of time steps that are required in order to calculate this because um, in this paper they use between, it takes them about 10,000 time steps to, to have a convergence for, for their values. I think they're using the forces. And they recommend 25,000 time steps to be um, confident about it. So these are Hey, these are uh, expensive calculations because we're using a crystal that has a supercell of 128 atoms. We have to calculate all the forces in it. So we want to use machine learning to reduce that. And one very promising um, tool that can help us with that is these marginalized graph kernels, the idea of which is to um, represent molecules with graphs. This is not. This is actually quite a common thing that I don't know about, but you can represent those as mathematical graphs and then the mathematical graphs you can find the similarities between two graphs, which is not an easy thing to do. There's a lot of math that goes into uh, these. The idea is that you're walking through the entire graph and then um, sort of summing up the probabilities and multiplying the similarities between the edges of all the graphs that are along your path and then you can get a number that tells you how similar two graphs are and the, that's called a kernel and that once you have a kernel then that can be used for a lot of um, standard uh, machine learning algorithms so Yuhang has used these kernels in order for in order to use it in GPR when uh, predicting um, molecules we're using it for a slightly different purpose for a crystal but the code that Yuhang has, has written uh, readily extends to it so we're very excited to to use that and, I, and this is some of the some heat maps of some similarity matrices that we used or that we created with uh, with this code um, and so th these are kind of elements that we're still putting together but overall we're very excited for this. Uh, once we get everything put together, then we want to go into an active learning uh, protocol in order to try to reduce that number. Anyway, thank you for listening, and I uh, hope you come by and see my poster, and have a great day.